Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenport and episode 17 of this Let's Play series. So in the last episode we fertilised our new field, field 14. Uh, we also got that weeded as well and some more fertiliser on field 15. So all our fields are ready to harvest apart from field 14 which is a little bit behind the others. So we're going to be getting those harvested today. I have decided that we're going to sell our combine today and get a new one as we've going to have quite a lot of money coming in from the horses over the next few days. Our first two are ready to sell. So the trailer's already over there ready to get those up to the animal dealer. And with the, the money from those and the money from selling our combine and header, we'll put that towards the new one. Hopefully we can increase our loan enough then to offset the difference. And what I have also done is if we just go into the contracts page, I've taken out quite a few contracts because we've got the multiple contract mod. Uh, they're all fertilizing, but as you can see, we've got field fours worth twenty thousand dollars, field sevens fourteen, field eight thirty, five twenty thousand. So there's like fifty or sixty five, eighty five thousand dollars worth of contracts there, minus the cost of fertilizer and the wages for a worker. Um, but we should still come out with quite a bit of money from that. So the first thing I'm going to do is get a worker set up on doing one of the contracts. Um, and then while we go and take the horses and do some of the other jobs, that can be working its way through the, the contracts. So we do need to just quickly borrow a little bit of money so we can fill this up with fertiliser. I'll fully fill this up and we'll probably start off with field 8 as that's going to be the or well, whichever one's the nearest I think field 8 will be the closest one for us to get to from here so then field 7 and 4 and 5 uh, the furthest ones away so I'll get this up to field 8 get that started on doing that and then we'll take our two horses up to the animal dealer and sell those and then get our combine up to the store and then sell that and then see how much money we need to get extra to get our new combine so the workers all set up on field 8 so we just need to load our first two horses so we've got Bella and Apollo They're both fully trained now worth $50,000 so we'll move those over to the trailer and confirm so there's our first two horses, we'll be leaving the farm and we'll be replacing them with two more. So we're going to have $90,000 um, from this. Obviously that's not full profit because we've paid for the worker to keep them well, well groomed and do the training. So the daily riding to build up the training. And obviously the cost of the work in the fields to get the hay bales and oats and stuff but it's still a, a significant amount of money and much needed so it will all come in handy to go towards our new combine which obviously then is going to have the effect of us being able to harvest our fields a lot quicker and get more work done in a short period of time okay so we're at animal dealer and we'll get the these two moved over and confirm that so it's hundred thousand dollars and then we can get two more horses and we'll go for replacement the same colors we had previously so a pinto and gray and confirm that now I'll get these back to the farm get them in the the paddock and then we'll head up to the store with our case combine to get our new one and then we can start getting our soybeans all harvested and what we'll do we'll probably sell all of the uh, the crop from the soybeans as well straight away and then we'll see depending on how much we get for our combine how much we have to extend our loan to put towards getting the combine and header and seeing how much money we've got left after we've done the harvest as well, selling the crop 
decide what we're going to actually do next. I did say I would like to get a plant out at some point so we can do some different crops. Uh, but that also means obviously getting a corn header as well. So there's still a lot of things we could buy. I was just getting the, the money to buy all these things. Obviously our sheep are increasing now. They are starting to produce a good amount of wool. We have now got the two chicken coops as well. So we are going to have some eggs, a uh, good supply of eggs as well. So let's get these two unloaded. So we have got st stock and stock. No, no, that's the yeah, stock. I thought that was the names then underneath. Turbo and crystal. So we'll get those moved over. So they're now into the paddock. So as you can see, we've got Excalibur, Kirby. They're up to $37,000. So they're going to be in a few days before they're ready. And we've got Trigger and Zach, $42,000. And then we've got Faith and Ufa, which will be ready tomorrow. They'll be fully trained tomorrow, so that's going to be another ninety thousand, so a hundred thousand dollars minus the ten thousand for buying two more. And then we've got our two new ones, which obviously are going to take quite a while, so another ten days before they're ready. But then, so ten days we will have the hundred thousand. Eleven we'll have another hundred after that, and then twelve and fourteen if we we're still here. So. What we need to do now is get our combine up to the store so we can sell that and then uh, get our new one. Alright, so we're just coming up to the store and we'll go and see how much Carlo's going to give us for our case combine. Oh, I've just realised I've still got that bag lift there that we leased in the previous episode, I forgot to return. So we've been charged for an overnight fee of that. So let's get this pulled in here and see if we can sell all this. So we can get 96,197, uh, spend 300 repairing it but we'll just sell it as it is. So 96,000 for that and then we've got the header which is another 19,000, uh, the trailer I think we may need, um, don't know yet, we'll see. So what we're going to buy is, so we go to harvesters. So we've got a few options from a step up from what we've got. Uh, would be something like the Massive Ferguson, but I really want to go for the John Deere T560. I've not actually used this particular harvester yet in FS19. The Ravenport tile-up series we've got the the bigger John Deere combine so I thought we'd go with this one and uh, we'll just leave it as standard the wide tires only make a difference in looks um, and coral tracks an extra 20,000 is something we could uh, do without at the moment so we'll keep it as standard probably just go with the Michelins something a bit different so we'll keep it as standard. So we need two hundred eighty-five thousand dollars for that, and then we need the header as well, which is headers. So we need a further forty-nine thousand five hundred dollars for the header. So that is a big step up to a seven point six meter from a four point three meter. Plus we've got bigger capacity combine as well. So we need to increase our loan a little bit and uh, this is the point now can we actually increase our loan enough we should be able to because we do have quite a bit of land so we need 285 i think it was for the combine and then a further 49 was it <laughs> i can't remember just, just go 350,000 should be enough Uh, while we're here, I'll just check on the worker on the contract field 8. So it's 63%, so it's still got a bit to do on that. So we want the John Deere T560. And then we will get the header. Uh, just check the header trailers. 
not sure if so that's a 24 so that's i think up to 24 foot headers and that one's 40 foot so this one is 7.6 didn't really say what that is in feet so it's say 25 foot so that trailer is a little bit small but i think we should be able to get it to fit without any issues um, while we're here I'll just go into the garage and return that because we're not going to need it again and I'll only forget if we don't do it now so I'll get this onto the trailer we'll get back down to the farm or we'll head back down to the farm we'll probably start off with We'll do field 23 first, then do 19, then work up to 14, and then 15 when that's ready. So what we'll do quickly is just change the colour of this to John Deere green. And I'll get this on, and I'll meet you down at field 23. And just the fact that this is just so much faster on the road than the case one is head big plus the case combine I think was about 14 mile an hour top speed and this one's about, about 26 which just makes a huge difference so if we get these trailer parked up here I keep don't know I keep bringing up the map and get the header off and we can make a start on this field we just need to Check the worker on field eight, so 90%. So he's going to be finished anytime soon. So we get this unfolded. And make a start on this field. All I'll do is keep an eye on that. So as soon as that pops up, the contract's complete on field eight. I'll get that stopped and get changed over to the next field. So that's our first harvest in our new combine. And it already just feels so much better. Although it's going at the same speed, um, actually doing the harvest as the other one, it just feels so much nicer. Uh, it just feels like it's going a lot quicker as well, uh, which is a bit strange. So the workers finished on field 8, so we're just taking it over to field 7 now, which is the next contract. And then we've got fields 4 and 5 to do, which are a little bit further up, which we'll get done after this one. So I'm just going to set the worker off again. Now this one won't take as long, it's not as big as a field as field 8. So we'll keep an eye on that. So we can jump back to our combine and continue with the harvest so we're about 3,500 litres full on the second pass around the field All right, so we're coming up to 65% full on the combine I've got the other tractor over here now with the trailer so we can unload when we're nearly full so what we'll do is just go this end here and split down I do really like this combine it is really nice I uh, say big improvement over the case and a bit of a upgrade so hopefully at some point as well we'll be able to get a new tractor and upgrade one of well not necessarily upgrade we'll probably keep the two we've got uh, just get a third tractor that's more powerful uh, a lot quicker on the road as well 
to uh, transport stuff. We won't go anything stupid, crazy powerful as we, although we're expanding quite nicely now, we still don't have huge fields and huge lands to require a huge horsepower tractor at the moment. Uh, but something with a, a bit more power than what we currently have got. Although the Magnum's not too bad, I can't remember if we fully upgraded that. Uh, but it's looking at probably something around about 300 horsepower uh, will be a nice addition to the farm. Uh, we can look at getting some slightly bigger implements and equipment for doing contract work as well as our own fields just to speed things up a little bit. Now, I do get quite a few comments on, uh, I think it was on the Rolling Kills time lapse series, saying that I've, my equipment's far too big for the amount of acres of land we've got, uh, which realistically probably was. Uh, but then, in terms of the game and doing the videos, I, you know, in real life, you have like 8 to 12 hours, possibly more, farmer spends each day work in their fields uh, in game <laughs> I have about two two and a half hours and using a smaller piece of equipment on, on a bigger field and pretty much taking up the entire time lapse working one field on one job is probably not going to be enjoyable to watch although yeah it would be more realistic for the land using smaller equipment uh, but at the end of the day it's a game and you want to get things done efficiently and if you can get a bigger piece of equipment that's going to do, do a job a lot quicker you're going to use it to be, uh, to be fair so we're just under 9000 litres possibly get this last strip done possibly not, I'll probably just unload at the end of this row anyway just in case and um, we'll get this field finished off then head over to field 19 so let's just get this unloaded so just check our work on field 7 is 79 percent done i'll just check the price of soybeans uh, so we've got a high price of 2749 at the pork grain elevator which is slowly going down uh, which still isn't a bad price and then the ranch is the next highest 2574 so we should still get quite a decent amount of money so we had nearly 10,000 litres in there which is going to be around about $27,000 which is a huge amount of money to be fair off a small field so I'll continue, I'll get this one done. I'll get the worker switched over as well, up onto field four when he's finished. And then we'll head over to field 19 and get that one, get that one all done as well. Okay, so we're over onto field 19 and finished all of field 23. We've got around about 12,000 litres off field 23 um, in the trailer. So not too bad of a yield off that field. Um, we'll probably get a similar amount off this one, uh, which will probably fill up the trailer and then we can take that up to the cell point. So what I'm thinking of doing is, once we've finished all the harvest, is looking at extending this field a bit more, especially that end where the tractor is. Now we've got the terrain tools, we can smooth out all the, the bumps, uh, which are over that way, and possibly look at going a little bit further up, probably not that section up there, but a, a bit more over to the left there, where it's a little bit flatter, and look at smoothing that out a bit. I'm not sure if we can get any more that way, um, we'll see. Well, I think we can just get a bit more space and make these fields a little bit bigger. 
Because I think, apart from like some of the smaller fields like 16, 17, and then we've got 18, 20, 21, 22, I think quite a lot of the other fields are going to be possibly looking at one, two, and three. Well, I think some of the others are going to be a bit too pricey for us to uh, to afford before we move on from this from this map. So making a bit more use of the space we've got here is going to be beneficial and there is still quite a big area so probably going to make a fairly decent expansion to this field and possibly we could look at replacing one of our grass fields because I don't think we need as much grass with the animals we've got now you do tend to get quite a lot off the grass uh, for just hay for the horses and grass for the sheep I think one field is more than enough for what we need at the moment as uh, so we do look at getting more animals but we could possibly look at plowing up one of those fields for crops or to keep it as grass and do it for silage bales uh, which are always quite lucrative you get everybody staring for days all the sea is just a young pretty face but i'm trying to get to know you much better don't matter how much time it will take but there's something you're trying to so that's field 19 all done uh, our trailer's full now we've got 1800 litres left in the combine so what we'll do we'll get up to field 16 and 15 to do that one our worker has finished on field 4 as well so we'll get him started on field 5 and get that one done so we can actually complete that contract so that's another $20,332 so we'll collect that one and there are some other fertilizing jobs as well so we've got field six field 13 for another 12,000 and i think that's um pretty much it other than field five or field 17 as well so field six we could look at doing that's not far from where we are uh, on the way back and then possibly field 13 as well which i think is right by field six yeah so you've got field six and 13 we could do as well uh field 17 is up here right by our fields which currently has got oats in and uh, we've got field 16 which has currently got wheat um, possibly look at that as the next field we buy um, for $137,000 so we're currently up to 81000 which isn't too bad at all so we'll get the combine up to the next field and get that one harvested what we'll do is then take the take the trailer over to the sell point and we'll sell that load as well So we've got the combine up on field 19, we've got a worker on that now working away. So we're just heading to the pork grain elevator to sell our 21,000 litres of soybeans. And I'll just pull out straight across the road without looking. I'm so used to doing the time lapse series, <laughs> I don't, if I'm doing first person I don't tend to look at junctions because I don't want the 
camera quickly shaking around like that uh, <laughs> which obviously in the time lapse that just gets over exaggerated because of the fact that you're speeding up so I just tend to try and uh, head my bets and pull out at junctions so we should get around about $27,000 no $27,000 god <laughs> for 10,000 litres so, so it should be way over $50,000 uh, 55200 so that's not bad off two fields um, that wasn't the the full harvest from both fields we still had an, only 1,000 was it 500 litres left in the combine that we couldn't unload so that's not too bad at all we're up to $136,000 uh, we've got two fields left of soybeans to harvest uh, we've got field five contract for the fertilizing to finish which is another 20,000 and then we've got fields seven six and 13 to do as well which is gonna bring in close to another thirty thousand dollars so by the end of this we could be close up to two hundred thousand and there's the decisions to make do we just pay off the loan or do we buy more land get the a new tractor or some new equipment get a planter and a corn header so we've got some decisions to make so I'll head up to field 16 15 I'll, I'll, I'll get the hang of the field 15 I always think 16 always pops to my head straight away possibly we could buy field 16 as well now and we do actually have nearly enough money we'll definitely will have by the end of this episode anyway and so we're back up to field 15 we'll just unload the combine it's only around 6,000 litres in there so it's not quite half of the field done yet Uh, what we'll do when we finish this, we'll leave the combine up here ready to harvest field 14 when that's done. So we're not having to bring it all the way back up from the farm. So what we'll do, I'll get this one finished. Keep an eye on the worker. He's just below 50% full on the fertiliser, so I think he's got plenty to get the next two fields done and finish the one he's on. So we can't remember how much we spent on a full load of fertiliser, but for how much we've actually made from doing those fields, it was well worth buying. And that fertiliser spreader is more than well paid for itself by now. So a very good investment indeed. Okay, so we've got the last couple of bits to do well, probably three runs and a short strip for the last one on this one to complete this field there, our worker is now over on field 13 and then that's the last fertilizing contract I will be doing I won't bother doing 17 I will just take that back to the yard then so what we'll do, we'll leave the the combine and the magnum with the trailer up here, ready for field 14 to be harvested. And then what we'll do probably in the next episode is get that one harvested and then we'll look at getting field 19 extended. And then getting these two fields joined together and extend this one a little bit as well up to where the the magnum is and fix that bump 
there's a few bumps in field 23 I think as well I want to just try and smooth out a little bit there's a couple of places where the combine struggled a bit to pick up the crop because of the the uh, change in elevation was a bit steep on the one section so we can have a look at patching that that bit up as well so this will be the last strip so we've got 7,000 litres in the combine and then whatever's in the trailer which I can't remember how much is actually in there so we should still get a fairly decent amount with the what we get off field 14 as well and um, we'll get that sold in the next episode we'll get that turned off so that's filled 15 <laughs> try and remember even though I just said filled 14 I still nearly went to say filled 16 so there's a few bumps in this bit if you want to extend out that need just smoothing out a little bit now what we'll do we'll just run the plow over first so it's easier to see because I don't want to just smooth over the whole area if it doesn't need it so we've currently got 10,000, 11, 12, so that's 13, so 13,492 litres in the trailer, so we should have another 21,000 litres plus a little bit which will get put into the, the silo if there's any a little bit left, so the price probably won't be as good it's going down quite a bit now now the ranch is now the best price at 2574 so that will probably change completely overnight when we skip over to the next day so our workers plodding along he's still probably got quite a bit to do so it's 44 percent so nearly 50 percent complete so that's going to be another 12,102 so our loan now we're up to $715,000 loan so it's kind of like do we pay back some of that loan we are still going to get quite a bit of money or do we invest that into getting some new equipment possibly buying some more land or getting another tractor or pay back the loan I've, personally I think we're better off investing that money rather than paying the loan back because uh, it's not as if we're not going to make more money in the future to pay the loan back. Well, anyway, what I'm going to do is we'll leave it there for this episode. As I say, I'll skip overnight to the next in game day, so our next two horses will be ready to be sold. So we can have the income from those and we can get another two. And obviously, we'll get some more wool will have spawned so we've got two complete four pallets that one's about three quarters full and we'll have some more eggs as well so not sure how much is in this one we can drop that one in there so this is the one i'm currently filling these are the empty pallets so we've got the four empty ones here and i dropped this one over by this one to fill up as well so i'll continue filling these up so at some point we're going to have a good amount of eggs to take to sell as well. So yeah, we'll end this episode here. Um, if you do have any questions, comments, suggestions, then please leave it down in the comment section and I'll see what I can do regarding questions. And thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, then please do consider subscribing because we have new Farm Simulator 19 videos every day including the time lapses and let's plays which will probably not be every day um definitely won't be every day i should say and um, but they'll be as and when i can get them done so again thank you very much and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye <music>